What up? What up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. All my OGs out there, go ahead and do your thing. Hit that like button for your boy. Comment for the algorithm. If you're new to the channel, come join the fam. It's free. We're going to go over how to lock down on defense in college football 25. Post patch. Yes, I know a patch just rolled out, but I got y'all. Every year in football, you have what people call cheese plays. And every single year, I find the best counters against them. If you want to be able to lock down all the cheese plays in NCAA 25 and Madden 25, make sure that you go in the link in the description and get the ebook or become a Patreon member. Number one, play rec. What do I mean by play rec? Pay attention to the adjustments you make on the field and what's behind it. Play rec. That's the first thing to be better on defense. Let's break it down. Now, on a play, I'm going to have a certain person manned up. Right here, we have the old icon or the furthest receiver to the right. He is manned up. So, I want to bracket anything that comes from that side of the field besides that receiver. I want to bracket him. So, the deepest route is this tight end. My user is going to take him. Why? I'm willing to give up the two to three yard passes. I always say that. I always preach that. Don't let the 10 yard, 15 yard routes get open. Take them routes with your user and then switch stick deep. Okay? Now right here, we have a slower receiver right there. It was the perfect adjustment on a fourth and eight he converts. So now I switch my cornerback out. If he's not fast enough to stay step for step with that guy, I'm going to make an adjustment. That's part of play rec. I put a faster person right there, and you can see the results. We're going to look at that again. Okay? So the inside guy is manned up. I don't have no flat on the left side of the field because my opponent is not checking down. So you can be more risky on the defensive side of the field once you understand what your opponent is doing. So right here, we got the inside guy manned up, the inside guy manned up, and he also has the tight end that gets open. That was the perfect play. But I clicked on, that guy has a knockout ability. I touched him, made him drop the ball. Right here, fourth and 23. We don't want him to convert. Man up the inside guy with a cover two shell behind it. My user is going to stay deep. Right there, I told you, I switched my cornerback in. The first cornerback gave up a fourth and eight. We couldn't get off the field. That time, I switched the cornerback. Only 92 speed, but higher man coverage, higher awareness does a lot. Now, we got a turnover. That's when you want to control the clock. Second quarter, a minute and six seconds. You don't want to score right away. My opponent is running man coverage. We get five yards right there. I'm going to hurry it up, but I'm going to take my time. Why I am hurrying up is because I want to keep my opponent in this defense. What do I mean by that? I want my opponent to have whatever flats he had on the field. If he had him on five, if he had it on 25, I want him to be stuck with them adjustments. If he don't call a timeout, he's going to be stuck with them adjustments. I know how to beat man coverage, zig routes, comeback routes, all that. We score 35 seconds left. Now, right here, second and 10, nine seconds left. We always man somebody up. That could have been an interception. Now, third and 10, he's going to go to a trick play. You know, people are going to be trying jet sweeps and all that. Soon as he motions, run commit to that side. Come over there with your user. Don't be running down toward the line of scrimmage. Go to the outside. Let your defense bracket him. You clean it up. Right here, second and 10. He's doing that motion. We have that guy manned up with shade over the top. When you play shade over the top, you don't have to worry about anybody getting behind your guy as long as you have about a two speed differential. Okay, so if he has 95 speed, make sure you are shading over the top with somebody at least 93 speed. So what happens? We are up 14 to 0. He's going into 5 wide. That is what a lot of people do when their main offense is not working and we are locked lock locking them down they go into five wide you got to make sure that you change your shell okay cover zero shell or cover three shell is going to help you out with five wide and it's going to help you out with your blitzes because you're going to have a linebacker in the middle of the field if you are sending blitzes stay tuned for some more videos let's go